If you're going to continue using this amino acid, expect some irreversible health consequences. Taking supplements is inevitable if you want to stay fit and build your muscles for a more worthwhile purpose. For athletes, food supplements can become lifesavers when it comes to giving their all-out performance. But what if the one thing that they may be relying on has taken its toll on their health? For this reason, let's talk about creatine and how it can become one of the most harmful muscle-building supplement that you should really consider before using it. Creatine is an amino acid naturally produced by your body. Creatine can be found in your brain and muscles, and it is produced by your liver, kidneys, and pancreas. These organs only make about 1 to 2 grams of creatine per day, so you have to increase your daily dose by eating protein-rich foods such as fish and red meat. Though several studies have discussed the benefits of creatine, it could still be the worst muscle-building supplement that you will ever encounter if you are negligent. Here are six common adverse effects that you should look out for when you take too much creatine or take it improperly. Number 1. Kidney Damage Creatine can damage your kidneys when you take too much of what your body needs. Creatine is converted into creatinine, which is a waste product found in your blood. Excessive supplementation of creatine may lead to more production of creatinine, which your kidneys may find hard to filter from your blood. For this reason, creatine is not advisable for people with pre-existing renal disease, as in the future you may expect the buildup of kidney stones. Number 2. Bloating Creatine normally causes bloating among first-time users when they are undergoing the loading phase. The loading phase is a regime where you take large amounts of creatine in a short period of time. It means that you will consume 20 grams of creatine daily for 5 to 7 days. These 20 grams can be divided into smaller portions. To avoid bloating, you can limit your intake to only 5 to 10 grams of creatine per serving. Avoid taking 20 grams of creatine at one time because it may cause other adverse side effects such as diarrhea, nausea, and an upset stomach. After the loading phase, you may start taking small doses of only 5 grams of creatine per day. Number 3. Weight Gain Due to water retention in your muscles, creatine may cause unwanted weight gain when you start the loading phase and take 20 grams of it per day. According to Healthline, you can gain as much as 2 to 6 pounds in one week of taking creatine supplements. This is often mistaken and complained about as fat. Additional fat might be later on switch into muscle mass, but you can really monitor your weight if this happens, as such results can be hardly reversible. Which among these side effects have you experienced upon taking creatine so far? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Number 4. Dehydration Taking creatine is believed to cause dehydration to your body as water builds up in your muscle cells. However, there is no specific study that supports this claim, and some health experts say otherwise. According to recent studies, creatine may even help reduce dehydration during intense exercise. This may vary from one consumer to another. To some, creatine may cause dehydration if the supplement is not taken properly with an ample amount of water. It is always best to consult your healthcare provider or nutritionist before you take creatine on a regular basis. Number 5. Muscle Cramps Muscle cramps and dehydration are related side effects of creatine supplementation. Water retention in your muscles may reduce fluids in your body, which can cause muscle cramping. Muscle cramping may be a result of muscle strain, overuse of muscles, and dehydration. It is recommended to drink up to 3 liters of water per day when you take creatine supplements. Number 6. Hair Loss Another side effect of taking creatine is hair loss, which may happen over time. The primary male sex hormone testosterone is converted to dehydrotestosterone, or DHT, which is associated with hair growth. Remember that testosterone is responsible in the formation of muscle mass and body hair in men. As testosterone gets converted into DHT, it affects the hair follicles or the tunnel-shaped organ that holds your hair in place. Taking creatine supplements may increase DHT levels and therefore speed up the hair growth cycle and may lead to hair fallout. Too much DHT in the hair follicles may result in weakened hair strands and eventually rapid hair loss. One study among rugby players showed that a high concentration of creatine supplements elevated their DHT levels by 50% when they consumed it straight for 7 days. This is 10% higher as compared to when they used it during their maintenance period. Creatine has no direct effect on the hair growth cycle, but its ability to increase DHT levels is a key player in hair loss. If you are curious about how testosterone functions and how it affects your body, Consider watching our video on how to boost testosterone naturally for muscle growth. Additionally, there are other effective muscle building foods and supplements that you can try out. One of them is whey protein. Whey protein is a type of amino acid found in dairy products such as milk and cheese. It also helps in increasing muscle mass, improving strength and muscular function. Whey protein does almost the same effects as creatine in terms of athletic performance. Other food supplements that can replace creatine include beta-alanine, weight gainers and branched chain amino acids. 
All of them may increase your muscle mass and strengthen your muscles as well. Beta-alanine is known to reduce fatigue and increase lean muscle mass, while weight gainer supplements are intended to give you more calories needed for gaining muscle. You may also increase your protein intake by consuming red meat, fatty fish, nuts, beans, and legumes. For complex carbohydrates, you can choose whole grains and starchy vegetables. Protein and carbohydrates are essential macronutrients that your body needs in gaining muscles and reducing muscle injury during resistance training or high-intensity workouts. If you want to know more about healthy foods and drinks that can improve your muscle gains and help in muscle recovery after a workout, check out our latest video on the 10 best foods and drinks for muscle recovery. Creatine is a popular sports supplement taken by athletes for muscle growth and building. Creatine can increase muscle mass and improve athletic performance. It usually comes in powder form and is mixed with water or juice. It may also come in granules and capsules. Creatine monohydrate is the most studied type of creatine and has been proven to provide positive effects on your body. Hey, check out more videos about health supplements that can improve your overall health. Check out our playlist on health supplements and learn about the effects of biotin, melatonin, and NAC. Do you have other supplements that you want us to make a video about? Share your ideas in the comments below. We would love to hear from you.